When it comes to data analysis, few tools are as versatile as Microsoft Excel. Excel is like the Swiss army knife of data analytics and can support everything from data prep and ETL to exploratory analysis and visualization. So in this video, I wanna walk you through the typical data analytics or business intelligence workflow and talk about exactly where and how Excel fits into that picture. So when we talk about the typical analytics workflow here at Maven Analytics, we often describe four key stages, data prep, data modeling, data analysis, and data visualization. Now, of course, this isn't the only workflow out there, but it does represent the most important phases of the analytics process. So let's take a closer look at these stages, starting with data prep. This step is where you extract, clean, transform, and load raw data for storage and analysis. And this is where Power Query really shines. Power Query allows you to extract, clean, and transform data from hundreds of different sources. You can pivot, group, merge, append, filter, and sort your data, or add calculated fields and features before loading into Excel for deeper analysis. Next up in the workflow, we have the data modeling stage. And this is where relational models are built and configured based on business needs and objectives. So what data sources are you working with? How do your tables relate to one another? What fields, dimensions, and metrics will be part of your analysis? And so on. Now, gone are the days of restrictive worksheet row limitations. With Excel's data model, you can load, compress, and analyze complex data sets containing millions of rows. And more importantly, you can create relational models without manually merging tables together or writing a single formula. Now, once the data has been prepped and modeled, the next stage is typically data analysis. And this is where you conduct exploratory analysis to profile the data and begin to reveal some meaningful patterns, trends, and business insights. Now, I've used many different BI platforms and programming languages over the years, Power BI, Tableau, Python, R, and I still recommend Excel pivot tables as the best tool for exploratory data analysis. Pivot tables are simple, they're intuitive, they're flexible, and they can be used to analyze anything from simple tables or worksheets to massive complex data models. Finally, we have the data visualization stage in the workflow. This is where you would create visuals, reports, dynamic dashboards to communicate key insights to business stakeholders and end users. Contrary to popular belief, Excel is an amazing tool for visualization and dashboard design. In fact, few tools offer the same level of customization and creative freedom as a blank Excel worksheet. And with expert level skills, you can design beautiful interactive reports and dashboards similar to what you can produce with specialized tools like Tableau or Power BI. So the bottom line here is that Excel may not always be the right tool for every job, but it's an incredibly valuable asset to any analyst, data scientist, or business intelligence professional. So to my fellow BI pros, drop me a comment, and let me know how else are you using Excel as part of your analytics workflow. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Happy learning. I'll see you in the next one.